I'm Paul Levinson. Welcome to Light On, Light Through, episode 84. Time to say goodbye to nuclear energy. As most of you know, I tend to be an outspoken optimist about technology. I love almost everything about the Internet. I want faster trains and planes. I think genetic engineering could be the greatest boon to human nutrition since we started planting vegetables. I think we'll never understand our role or place in the cosmos until a substantial part of our civilization gets off of this planet and out into the solar system and planets around other stars. But after Three Mile Island in 1979, I concluded that nuclear power was just too dangerous to warrant using as a mainstream energy source. I remember being struck back then by a headline in the New York Daily News, which screamed in big letters, Thousands Flee End Zone. That was on the front page. And I love science fiction, but that was one movie I did not want to be in. Chernobyl in 1986 only confirmed this. It really doesn't matter what the reasons for the accidents are. Accidents will happen. Human beings are fallible, and therefore so are our technologies. And the consequences of accidents with nuclear energy are just too high. Radiation released and its destructive consequences stay around for a very long time. And now the same has happened once again at a nuclear power plant in Japan. It was damaged by the earthquake and tsunami. Its cooling system was broken. Current reports say the amount of radiation released put it in a category that is the same as Chernobyl. And just to be clear, at this point, the radiation released is only about one-tenth of what was released in Chernobyl back in 1986. But that's so bad that nuclear agencies who assess these kinds of accidents, including the one in Japan, say that the Japanese nuclear power plant breakdown and its consequences are much worse than Three Mile Island, which rates a five on a scale of one to seven, and in fact will be as bad in one way or another as Chernobyl, which is a seven on this scale. Now, with the prices of oil soaring all over, it's especially difficult to give up any source of energy. But I think it's time to give up on nuclear energy. The world should do everything it can to help Japan in its time of need and then see to it that its own energy sources no longer include nuclear. One of the things I've done is I've donated one of my songs, Sunshine's Mine, to a special compilation CD consisting of songs from 100 artists. These include Tori Amos. I'm probably the least known recording artist on this compilation. It's called Songs of Love for Japan, and there will be a three-day sale of this compilation CD starting tomorrow, Monday, April 18th. I'll have a link to where you can find out more about this CD. Lighton, lightthrough.com, L-I-G-H-T-O-N, L-I-G-H-T, T-H-R-O-U-G-H dot com. But the point is, we do need to do everything now we can to help Japan. Help it to cope with this triple crisis. And in the future, we should also do everything we can to make sure that when earthquakes and tsunamis strike, there's not much we can do about that. 
but to make sure that those are the prime causes of the damage and not the third leg of this disaster, nuclear energy, which is entirely of our own making. So I'll be back here soon with another episode of Light On, Light Through. The Light On, Light Through podcast. Garden.com. Spring is bursting out all over. Summer is coming up. This is the perfect time to get seeds, plants, everything you need for a beautiful garden. And this will give you $15 off on any orders that you do for $75 or more at garden.com. G-A-R-D-E-N.com. Now, to get this offer, to get this discount... You log on to M-E-V-I-O dot M-E slash Z-H. That's right. And when you are filling out your membership, put in this special code, all capital letters, S-A-G-L-E-V-1. That's the number one, S-A-G-L-E-V-1. And all that is at Garden.com for $15 off on any orders of $75 or more.